Okay, y'all, it's 5.06 p.m. My other device is out of storage space. So um, I am continuing. This is part two of the Dorito enchilada casserole hacks or substitutes. Um, so I'm going to continue with adding the Hermel tamale chicken and chili sauce. I do recommend that you do not use with brand chili as it is uh, mainly mush. You want something that's hearty. But this is just going to try to speed the process up here as quick as possible. Let's roll these out of this little uh, hot tamales are rolled up in a wax paper or corn husk. And you all, you can use anything that uh, to create a casserole. And casseroles typically are consistent of layers of building up things. So um, I have done this back when I lived in Asheville, North Carolina. I took a full a size of chicken breast with the rib in it, and I boiled it and let it cool down and stripped it off its meat and pull the skin off of it and I shred it. I did like a pull apart or shredded chicken um, Dorito casserole. Y'all had some side rice on the side. You're talking about good. And then I even had uh, like for toppings, sour cream and salsa. It was, it was like, to, it was so delicious. So when you speak of Dorito casserole, the traditional way is to add, you know, browned ground, ground beef or ground turkey. But typically, once you learn, know how to do this, you'll learn how to do. I can even do an, an all veggie uh, Dorito casserole where it's just rice, like Mexican rice or yellow saffron season, seasoned rice in there. And it's, it's just, just as good, you know, because when you add in the grated cheddar, cheese and all. So there we go. I'm trying to pause this. Okay, I've already come in with a lot of grated cheddar, mild cheddar cheese, and now I'm going to add some more Doritos. You know, you just crush them right there in the bag. That's what I've done. Okay, y'all, I'm going to, I just spread it over some more crunch, crunchy Doritos. As you can see, I'm running out of room. So I am going to layer this up, the rest of the enchilada mushroom soup. On the crunch of Doritos. Be right back. Okay, y'all, I have spread on the rest of the enchilada mushroom Dorito casserole. I'm rinsing out my pan and I'll come back to this. What I'm going to do is um, go ahead and put some more, just a little bit of cheddar cheese on. I have my oven preheating. And what we want to do is let this bake for about 20, let's see, you're just going to sprinkle that on. I'm going to let it bake for about 25, 30 minutes, just until the cheese melts.
controls it. Safety means what? You know that you never have any money for child support, but for her selfish. Y'all, I'm going to cover this with some aluminum foil. Alright y'all, so I have the oven on. My oven gets pretty hot. So I have this like on 350. <clears throat> Go ahead and uh, carefully lift this up and just place it directly inside of the oven. So you want that just kind of loosely on there and so it's going to help it to steam the chips up and make them tender so after 30 minutes it will be ready just let it cool down once it after 25 30 minutes turn off the oven let it sit inside and then you can serve it with a side of sour cream and salsa or even rice if you wish or you can eat it just like it is Okay, y'all, sour cream is a excellent option after it bakes, and also salsa. Some people make their own homemade salsa, but this is the kind I have, the chunky um, mild salsa, paste picante. Once it's open, of course, you need to refrigerate it. So. This is what I usually serve on the side as an option, sour cream and salsa once it's done. And if you're serving like a lot of people and you want to really stretch this meal, you can also like serve a side of uh, Spanish rice or yellow saffron seasoned rice on the side and the sour cream and the salsa and it makes for a tasty dish it's optional it's not required between 45 and 50 minutes after five that would make it about 30 minutes right um this dish only calls for about 25 30 minutes yeah so at about 25 minutes after when 25 minutes pass I will turn the oven off. I believe that my recorder is not going to allow me to stay in a pause position that long. I've got to get a video blogger camera that allows me to pick up from the previous recording. This one here will time out after a few minutes. So, um, y'all, I will put the results of the Dorito casserole on the thumbnail. Uh, enjoy. Justify the terrible week.